good morning class 10th so after finishing our heart structure its functions its com uh, its parts now we have just left with the few uh, fluid uh, medium or the uh, if i say specifically that is blood components and its function so today we will see about blood lymph and clotting factors and mechanism of clotting in this lecture so let's talk about blood first blood as you know it is known as circulatory medium because what blood does it transport gases it help in transportation of digested food it help in transportation of hormone so it is a basically it is a circulatory medium which circulates so many things and if we talk about tissue you are very much known that it is a connective tissue blood is a connective tissue so it is known as fluid connective tissue what blood is made up of many time this question comes in mind that what the blood is made up of it made up of 78% water and 22% solids now when i am writing here 22% solids what does that mean 22% solid means it is made up of different cells and various other cellular components that is the meaning of this 22% part so various cells they ultimately they form blood so what if we talk about the functions of blood it connect different system of body by transporting gases by digesting food by transporting hormones as well as weight material to different body parts that is the that is what main function a blood perform now if we talk about components of blood means what a blood is made up of first extra cellular thing extra cellular thing which is which is it's like a fluid which is flowing which is the transparent material present in a blood so extra cellular uh, extra cellular matrix on which there are other cells uh, that are uh, present so blood firstly it is made up of largest component that is known as plasma so if somebody asks you that what is blood made up of so blood is equal to plasma plus its cellular components and as you know it is also made up of water right so plas what is plasma plasma is a clear straw is like a transparent color this it is a transparent color it is basically no color so clear clear uh, fluid straw colored liquid portion of blood and it is a largest component of blood so what is plasma it is a liquid portion uh, in which cells are present so if we have if you have to define plasma what is plasma it is a fluid matrix on which blood cells they are embedded or you can say on which blood cells they are present they are formed now what are the various these cells which are present in this fluid matrix plasma so they are rbcs they are wbcs they are platelets they form they are the cellular components of blood they are the cells which are embedded in the pl uh, plasma or the on the plasma so first we will talk about rbc what are rbc rbc hote hain red blood cells kya hain rbc bahut hi small cells hain aur bina nucleus ke hain they are without nucleus they don't have nucleus they uh, um, once the rbc they get matured they don't have nucleus they carry now what the what is the function of this rbc they carry oxygen ये आर क्या करते हैं ऑक्सीजन कैरी करते हैं फ्रॉम लंग्स एंड देन दे सेंड टू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी नाउ दे कंटेन अ रेस्पिरेटरी पिगमेंट रेस्पिरेशन पिगमेंट रेस्पिरेटरी पिगमेंट कौन सा है इसमें हीमोग्लोबिन हीमोग्लोबिन विच हैज हायर एफिनिटी फॉर ऑक्सीजन नाव हीमोग्लोबिन का ऑक्सीजन के लिए स्पेसिफिक काइंड ऑफ अट्रैक्शन है मीन्स ऑक्सीजन इज हीमोग्लोबिन इज ऑलवेज गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टू वर्ड्स ऑक्सीजन सो देयर इज अ हाई बाइंडिंग हाई बाइंडिंग बॉन्डिंग बोलो और हाई बाइंडिंग बोलो बिटवीन ऑक्सीजन एंड हीमोग्लोबिन सो इट मीन्स आर बी सी का काम क्या है देख 
carry oxygen because they contain respiratory pigment hemoglobin so hemoglobin has a color red hemoglobin they are red in color that is the respiratory pigment and it is red it provide red color so because of this hemoglobin rbc they are red in color and that is why our blood blood is red in color because in our blood rbcs they are present rbcs they are always small in size and because of this smaller size they it this size help them to travel in the extremely thin capillaries or you can say that uh, they can reach up to the up to the tissues to the deep ones they can reach to the deep tissues because of its smaller size this is about rbc if we talk about now the second blood component that is wbc wbc is they are white blood cells they are nucleated cells rbc kya the they do not have nucleus rbc they do not have nucleus and wbc they are nucleated cells as the major function of wbc is to provide immunity ye body ko kya provide karte hain immunity so immunity jo provide karta hai that help in fighting infections so they help in fighting infections and builds the immune system of body bahut tarah ke hote hain ye five tarah ke hote hain main neutrophils eosinophils basophils lymphocytes and monocytes that is the type of wbcs these are lymphocytes and they are monocytes so as you can see they are nucleated cells so they have different shape nucleus that is the polynuclear leukocytes it is neutrophil they are eosinophils then basophils monocyte and lymphocyte but their uh, life span is very very short in human body they live only for 3 to 4 days and after their uh, degeneration they again regenerate they again reformed in the body that is how they provide immunity to the body and they are the second cellular component of blood the third one is the platelets as you know that when some injury is there then who helps in the clotting of blood that is platelets first thing they are smaller in size and they help in blood clotting they have nucleus they are nucleus so these this is a structure of a platelet now first thing once we say that they help in blood clotting then thing come in mind that how they help in blood clotting as you can see this diagram there are these are red blood cells these are red blood cells rounded oval shaped in structure and there are platelets present now what is this this is uh, it has shown a site when injury take it place when a blood vessel their wall when you got injury then the blood vessel wall is broken down so what has happened here is this is red blood cells these are the platelets and this this is the broken vessel blood vessel now what happened these platelets they get activated and due to the this uh, activated fibrin they form a mesh they form a mesh like a structure mesh is like bahut sare network network of fibrin so they form a mesh which is mesh basically mesh which is known as a क्लॉट बेसिकली पूरा इसको कवर कर लेते हैं और सील कर देते हैं जो वेसल ब्रेक हुई थी सो दैट इज हाउ जब कभी भी ब्लड इंजरी होती है तो वहाँ पे ब्लड रिलीज होता है और उसको स्टॉप करने के लिए कौन से फैक्टर्स एक्टिवेट होते हैं क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स एंड हु हेल्प्स इन दैट क्लॉटिंग दैट इज platelets we will see its major mechanism so that question always uh, comes in mind that how this actually mechanism of clotting happens how is this happening so what is happening here that tissue is injured injured tissues so once their uh, tissue is injured platelets they got a signal so platelets they start releasing clotting factor 
what is that clotting factor that is prothrombin activator and calcium ions see always remember that calcium ions play very helpful role in blood clotting they play very very helpful role in blood clotting all right so who get activate prothrombin get activate prothrombin activator is getting released by platelets as well as calcium uh, ions they are released ab ye prothrombin activator ye kya karega ye convert karega Pro prothrombin kya hai what is prothrombin it is a blood protein it is nothing it is a blood protein which is helping in clotting so ye inactive form hai so now this prothrombin will change into active form which is thrombin this thrombin splits fibrinogen fibers as a fibers मैश बनना है ना क्लॉट बनना है सो ऐसे मैश लाइक स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्म होता है कब फॉर्म होता है जब थ्रॉम्बिन स्प्लिट्स करता है इट एक्टिवेट फाइब्रिनोजन टू फॉर्म फाइब्रिन अब ये फाइब्रिन इट इज़ अ फाइबर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स दीज फाइबर्स दे फॉर्म अ मैश दे फॉर्म अ मैश अराउंड द वोंड जहाँ पे आपको चोट लगी है और पूरे रेड सेल्स को कवर कर लेता है एज वेल एज द प्लेटलेट्स जैसे ही ये एक मैश लाइक स्ट्रक्चर बन जाता है बाय कवरिंग प्लेटलेट्स एज वेल एज रेड ब्लड सेल्स देन ब्लीडिंग स्टॉप्स ये क्लॉट हार्डन हो जाता है मोर एंड मोर हार्डन एंड इट बिकम्स स्मॉलर डे बाई डे सो न्यू सेल्स ग्रो एंड रिपेयर द इंजरी साइट एंड ये इंजरी साइट पे एक और एंजाइम रिलीज होता है दैट इज प्लाज्मिन जिससे फाइनली कुछ दिनों बाद आपका क्लॉट डिजॉल्व हो जाता है सो एज यू कैन सी देयर इज अ ब्रोकन देयर इज अ वूड एंड दीज आर दीज आर रेड ब्लड सेल्स एंड देयर इज दिस येलो कलर इज द प्लाज्मा बिकॉज इट इज अ स्ट्रॉ कलर एंड now these are there are the uh, platelets they many platelets they get activated near the injury and this is the blood vessel so now red blood cells and platelets they trapped in fibrin so who is helping to form a mesh that is fibrin fibrin form a mesh and jiski wajah se aapka final clot formation ho jata hai so here is a formation of met mesh aur sare aapke platelets aur rbc uske andar cover ho jate hain so this flow chart is very very important for you to draw this is always maximum of the time this is asked in 3 marks in the board exam so please go through this very carefully that how is the clotting happen happens basically you have to uh, very careful about prothrombin and then prothrombin change into thrombin and then thrombin activate fibrinogen which change into a fibrin which fi finally fibrin fibers they form mesh over the wound aur pure red cells uh, red blood cells or platelets ko wo cover karke ye aise mesh bana dete hain next is about another fluid that is lymph so it is an another now it is a tissue fluid jahan pe bhi blood nahi ja pata hai us deep area mein kaun pahunchta hai that is lymph that is why it is known as interstitial fluid it goes inter uh, in between the tissues also in between dif dip, uh, different tissues it is again it is colorless it contains less proteins as compared to blood or uh, when you compare it to plasma it contains less proteins what is plasma actually we discussed it what is plasma plasma is the largest component of largest component of ब्लड अगर मैं आपको एक ब्लड प्रोवाइड करूं और उसमें से आर बी सी निकाल दूँ डब्ल्यू बी सी निकाल दूँ प्लेटलेट्स निकाल दूँ बाकी सारी चीज़ें भी निकाल दूँ देन वॉट इज योर ब्लड नाउ हैव ओनली एंड ओनली plasma so plasma it has water it has salts enzymes antibodies plasma has antibodies also antibodies as well as proteins but this lymph it has less proteins as compared to plasma it flows from tissues to heart blood kahan se kahan flow karta hai heart to body as well as from body to heart 
so it is always blood is always bidirectional but lymph always flow from tissues to heart so the flow is unidirectional flow function if we talk about it transport absorbed fat absorbed fat kahan se milta hai from intestine to blood so it transport fat so basically it help in transportation of fat kahan se from intestine aur kahan leke jata hai unko to blood that is the first function of lymph another it transport excessive fluid from extra cellular space that back to blood kabhi bhi jab body mein kuch extra fluid uh, accumulate hona shuru ho jata hai to ye different spaces jo khali spaces hain ek bahar cells ke bahar if suppose these are cells iske bahar fluid accumulate ho raha hai so wahan se usko leke aake blood mein it छोड़ देता है दैट इज़ द फंक्शन ऑफ लिम्फ एक तो फैट लेके जाता है इंटेस्टाइन से एंड इट ऑलवेज ऑल्सो ट्रांसपोर्ट एक्सेस फ्लूड नाउ लिम्फ कहाँ से कहाँ काम करता है लिम्फ एक्चुअली फॉर्म लिम्फेटिक कैपलरीज बिकॉज वी सेड दैट इट इज़ अ इंटरस्टीशियल फ्लूड सो ये जहाँ पे भी ब्लड नहीं पहुँच पाता है वहाँ पे ये पहुँचेगा सो इट गोज टू द डीपेस्ट कैपलरीज लिम्फेटिक कैपलरीज लिम्फेटिक कैपलरीज इकट्ठा होकर क्या बनाती है लिम्फ vessels and which join together to form veins look at this diagram this is the and this is lymph uh, capillary these are the lymph capillaries green ones and this is the arterioles then it goes to between these uh, lymphatic capillaries goes between the tissue fluid and these are the tissue cells so it goes deeper into the tissue there are various tissue spaces and finally they got together to form the veins to reach the veins or venules and then it together form the lymphatic vessels so inka jo flow chart hai wo kaise hota hai ki lymph jo hai wo form karti hai capillaries lymphatic capillaries lymphatic capillaries jo hai they join together to form the lymphatic vessel and lymphatic vessel join together to form these veins and venules you know that is the largest vein so they together form the veins so lymphatic capillaries and then it go form the lymphatic vessel and ultimately it form the veins so these finally coming together and form the vein सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ब्लड एंड लिम्फ क्या है ब्लड रेड होता है कलर में लिम्फ इज कलरलेस ब्लड बहुत फास्ट फ्लो करता है इट फ्लोज रैपिडली लिम्फ फ्लोज वेरी स्लोली इट फ्लोज फ्रॉम हार्ट टू बॉडी पार्ट्स एंड फ्रॉम बॉडी पार्ट्स टू हार्ट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू सो इट हैज बाई डायरेक्शनल फ्लो लिम्फ इज यूनि डायरेक्शनल एंड फ्लो फ्रॉम टिश्यूज टू हार्ट एंड ब्लड हैज मोर प्रोटीन एज कंपेयर टू द लिम्फ लिम्फ हैज लेस प्रोटीन्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्लाज्मा आर बी सी देन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सी and platelets and lymph that contain plasma and lymphocytes so this is all about our today's topic i hope you are able to understand each and every topic in detail if you have not understand in one term then please i will request you to watch this video again but this is very important lecture for you because these small small things they are asked in mcqs also so go through this video very carefully and i will meet you with the another uh, lecture that is transportation in plants as well as the excretion so take care have a good day